Economic Ministry of Ecology, Environmental Protection and Climate Change organized a trip inviting the Executive Secretary of the UN Convention to Combat Desertification, Ibrahim Tiao, and media representatives to visit the site of the RLC. Behind me you see what once was the RLC, the fourth largest lake in the world. After losing over 90% of its original site, the land became the largest desert of Central Asia. We know that the problem of the RLC emerged back in the 60s during the Soviet times, when our region was considered the primary source of the cotton fiber supply. After that, we know that the intensive and excessive use of water that came into the RLC from Amudaria, Sardaria rivers led to the draining of the sea, and today we are all witnessing a planetary catastrophe. The Uzbek government is now implementing a project planting halaxalons on the whole area of the dried sea. We are on a drained seabed dominated by sandy soils. They are prone to erosion and weathering processes. In order to stabilize this area, we first decided to create sand storage channels. We cut these channels, filled them with sand and planted mainly haloxicolon seeds. When we came here four years ago, there was nothing here, not a single crop. At present, over 1.7 million hectares of protective plantations have been planted on the seabed. The Uzbek government's efforts are continuing with another 500,000 hectares to be covered. I am in the Aral Sea, but actually I see no sea. Uh, I see a sea of deserts, I see a sea of sand, and it is certainly one of the biggest environmental disasters in the world. Scientists have proven that it is possible, despite these difficult conditions, to do something meaningful. You see, these are three to four years old uh, plantations that are already having the impact and their effects in stopping the movement of the sand dunes. What I take, my takeaway from this, is that uh, mistakes were made in the past, uh, probably uh, underestimated underestimating the capacity of nature to provide unlimited resources. In this case, it was water. It was so big that no one expected this to happen. I was told, I'm told that you had a sea of 40 meters high here. People were fishing and it's hard to imagine where that water went. Our scientists' site estimates that around 150 million tons of salty dust spread for thousands of kilometers around the Aral Sea and cover the territories of Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan and Turkmenistan. On this regard, of course, the consolidation of efforts of all countries is very important. Reflecting on the magnitude of this ecological crisis, there is hope on horizon with Uzbekistan taking admirable steps towards minimizing the impact of sand and dust storms from the Aral Sea on Central Asia. Afforestation efforts not only revitalize the landscape, but also stand as a beacon of inspiration for the world.